Here's why I made the General Ortega 3 song. Just 3. I'm assuming you saw when I explained why I made General Ortega 1 and 2. But if you didn't, I might have to down or something. Nah, but for real. When I was done making General Ortega 2, I was like, I don't know if I'm gonna make another one. But I did end up making a remix of someone else's song, which was the General Ortega remix. I like to refer to that as the unofficial Jenna 3. But getting to the actual Jenna 3, I wanted to do something new from Jenna 2. Because around that time, I had made so many different music videos and different sped and slow versions to the point where I was like, I need to make a new one. Not saying that I didn't love posting those Jenna 2 remixes and stuff. It's just I needed to make something new so fast forward from december to january i had seen the spike in love that general ortega 2 was getting and i was like oh yeah i most def gotta make a third one i just didn't know where to start so tell me how i'm just scrolling on tiktok and i'm looking through mind you i did say there was so many jenna edits at this time and for good reason because she was blowing up all over so i look at this edit it's from the fallout of beta and this is up to the point where i saw the movie and was absolutely more intimately captured by jenna the melody of the edit just hit hit me in just a certain way and on top of it it was a fallout edit i hear that sample I was like, I gotta sample that. I I'm sorry, I gotta sample that. I remember showing my friend Corey, and he was like, it's, it's nothing special, it's, it's just a sample. I'm like, bro, this is this is angelic. This is making me float. And I ain't talking about Pennywise. I ain't talking about Vecna either. That sample put me in a trance. You ever listen to that one song, and you hear the notes, and those notes just hit you in a certain way, you got your skin standing up, you start feeling goosebumps all over your body. That person you like start texting you on the phone. You look at the phone, and it's 11-11, you saw you gotta make a wish you look at your arm you see the spider crawling up and it start biting you and then you start getting spidey senses i don't know where this is going but you get what i'm saying that's how good i thought that sample was so january 4th 2022 right i'm making this beat right i'm making it. you know got the 808s quaking you know what i'm saying you know everything going great everything's going great sensei everything's going great so i'm playing with the sample you know i make it slow at one point and i make it sound like it's on the phone at another point then the build-ups with the bass and the ah oh, oh, oh. let me just play it Every time I hear that beat, it just it, it just sounds so satisfying to me. The way the 808 slaps, the way the hi-hat, the way the snare. I really love this beat. <laughs> so I'm done. I finished it. January 4th, 2022. I unlisted on my YouTube again, like I did with General Ortega 2 beat. I also have it in my drive. I'm listening to it and I'm starting to write them lyrics. Just dream it. Had me locked in, pull out the needle. She's seeming. Damn. She was we needing. Beaming away. She's seen this. Pack it up. No action. We leaving. One of my pockets. We full on the wall. She lending me a thing. No toe. I def did not just mess up my own lyrics. So yeah, I, I wrote the lyrics. I, I did all that. And around this time, a lot of people in school started to see what I was doing with General Ortega content. I was posting it a lot everybody was starting to call me a fiend and so i was like all right i'm gonna take that as ammunition and i put it in the lyric the way i've been fiending they've been telling me all day i've been fiending oh uh, had to and around this time this is when i did see the follow this was january 7th when i did watch the movie i'm only saying this because i do have some lyrics hinting towards stuff in the movie anyway we're getting sidetracked i had made a first version of the song that i wasn't really satisfied with so i went back to the drawing board and i changed up some lyrics towards the later half where it's i would never want to hurt you that lyric that lyric was actually from a song i made called i would never want to hurt you back in 2020 which is one of my most personal and one of my favorite songs i took that hook and i put it at the end of jenna 3 and lo and behold we're done jenna 3 about a month after i posted jenna ortega 2 i post jenna 3 january 12 2022 and this really marks the end of why i made jenna ortega 3 Yes, we're at the end of the video. This was originally supposed to be why I made General Ortega 3 and 4, but I was like, nah, this took way too long to make. So I was like, let me just cut it down to 1. I'm let me just cut it down to three. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. I feel like I haven't been posting a lot of Jenna videos. So if you enjoyed, you already know what to do with that. You already know what to do with the, li the like button. Or lick it. Eat it. Tennis ball it. Anyways, with that being said, I hope you enjoyed and until later.